second question here the question is let complex numbers alpha and 1 by alpha power lie on circles x minus x naught whole square plus y minus y naught whole square equal to r square and x minus x naught whole square plus y minus y naught square y naught whole square equal to 4 r square respectively if z naught equal to x naught plus i y naught satisfies the equation 2 mod z naught square equal to r square plus 2 then mod alpha equals to how much here our task is to calculate the value of mod alpha clearly in the given question there are two circles are there one circle is x minus x naught whole square plus y minus y naught square whole square equal to r square that is the circle with center x naught y naught and radius r similarly another circle is also center having the center x naught y naught and the radius 4 r square means 2 r you can write 2 r whole square that is 4 r square that is radius equals to 2 r so first let's draw, let's draw the diagram and then we will think about a mod alpha solution solution clearly from the given information the two circles are concentric circles first take one circle this is one circle somewhere else there is a center we can take another circle with the same center these are the concentric circles now you can take y axis and the x axis so you can take this as a y and now here clearly some more information they provided alpha and 1 by alpha bar lie on the respective circles so now let me draw one line this is one line so you can take this as a this as b this as c this as d now you can join the center and the point b and similarly you can sign you can join the center and the c this is the C and at the same time you can join O and D also O and D also so this is the given information from the problem now you can find the you can denote the lens as for the given problem so this is O so this is O yeah if, if you take the alpha yeah alpha and 1 by alpha bar lie on circles so clearly this is alpha and this is 1 by alpha bar and we know the given center already this is z naught you can take this length see clear let me write here from the figure from the figure o b equals to o b equals to modulus of alpha well, length only you have to take and o c equal to o c equal to 1 by modulus of alpha bar we know modulus of alpha bar equals to modulus of alpha so it can be written as modulus of alpha and you can write you know already this is the radius of inner circle this is the radius of inner circle that is r only this is r so you can write bd equals to r bd equals to r and the radius of the external circle external circle means this one outer circle that radius is 2r you can take this is cd equals to 2r you can write here cd equal to 2r 2R, this is 2R. You have to write carefully the given information. So now from the diagram, if you observe clearly, this is the angle theta. This is a an angle theta. So here is compulsory, there is no standard procedure. There is a logic involved in this question. So what is that logic? See if the theta is there, if you observe, this is one triangle. One second, sorry, this is one triangle. Let me write here clearly. Here, suppose if you observe. O, O A, O, o B D. This is one triangle, and similarly, this is O C D. This is another triangle. From these these two triangles, the theta is same. So first, let's take first triangle O B D from triangle from triangle O B D. What is cos theta? See, there is a cosine rule. There is a cosine rule you, you can apply. If you take one triangle, any triangle. So, you can take this as A, this as B, this as C. Length A, B, C, if you take this as a theta. What is the formula for cos theta in this triangle? Cos theta equal to the sum of the squares of the adjacent sides. That is C square plus B square minus the sum of, not sum minus square of the opposite side means a square by 
2 into what of edges inside that is BC. This is the formula for cos theta in a triangle. Now from the triangle OBD, cos theta equals to cos theta equal to this is what mod mod z naught mod z naught not mod z naught this is mod alpha see here this is OD mod z naught you can take so from the from the triangle OBD cos theta equals to mod alpha square plus mod z naught square minus what is the opposite side this is the, from the triangle OBD opposite side is at BD that is length is R R square by 2 into mod z naught you can take into mod alpha from the triangle OB. Similarly from the triangle from the triangle OCD OCD cos theta equals to mod you can write mod z naught square mod z naught square plus mod what is the length of OC means 1 by modulus of alpha 1 by modulus of alpha square minus similar what is the radius here 2r 2r whole square means 4r square 2r 12 only you have to take opposite side this is 2r 2r whole square means 4r square by by 2 into mod z naught into what is the length length is oc that is 1 by mod alpha that's all not necessary already i told you mod 1 by mod alpha bar equal to 1 by modulus of alpha now from these two equations you can take this as a 1 this as 2 cos theta is same you can equate it then you can get required modulus of alpha so next in the next step we will equate it so modulus of z naught square plus modulus of alpha square i am writing mod z naught square is the first one so from minus r square by 2 into mod, modulus of z naught into modulus of alpha is there which is equal to modulus of z naught square plus 1 by mod alpha square minus 4 r square by 2 into modulus of z naught into 1 by mod alpha so now you have to be careful while simplifying this one is a bit lengthy so 2 mod, uh, two mod z naught 2 mod, mod z naught gets cancelled so here right hand side mod z naught square plus 1 by mod r square minus r square by mod alpha remains which is equal to here one um, the numerator this is second term is 1 by mod alpha square you can take LCM as a mod alpha square finally you will get mod z naught square into mod alpha square plus 1 minus 4 r square into mod alpha square by you can, you can write in the denominator mod alpha square into 1 by mod alpha is there mod alpha mod alpha gets cancelled one more mod alpha one more mod alpha gets cancelled Finally, you can write mod z naught square plus mod alpha square minus r square equals to mod z naught square into mod alpha square plus 1 minus 4 r square into mod alpha square. So, but mod z naught here, some more information they provide. Z naught satisfies the equation 2 into mod z naught square equal to r plus 2. So, finally, you can multiply with 2 and five. then you can substitute 2 into mod z naught square equal to how much here? r square plus plus 2 directly I am substituting here so r square plus 2 plus 2 into mod alpha square minus 2 r square now which is equals to 2 into multiplying throughout the entire equation with 2 so 2 into mod z naught square how much here r square plus 2 into mod alpha square plus 2 is there already minus 8 r square mod alpha square now in the next step this implies see 2 2 gets cancelled 2 2 gets cancelled without any confusion next r square minus 2 r square how much minus r square plus 2 mod r square which is equals to r square mod alpha square next plus 2 mod alpha square it's over minus 8 r square mod alpha square in the next step this implies here 2 mod alpha square 2 mod alpha square gets cancelled so minus r square equal to how much here r square mod alpha square minus 8 r square mod alpha square how much minus 7 r square mod alpha square r square r square gets cancelled minus minus gets cancelled finally we are getting here I am writing finally we are getting 
1 equals to 7 mod alpha square. From this, mod alpha square equal to 1 by 7. So finally, mod alpha equal to, mod alpha equal to how much? 1 by root 7. This is the required conclusion. Now let's compare with the given options. So what are the given options here? 1 by root 2, first option, no, this is incorrect. Second option, 1 by 2, this is also incorrect. Third option, 1 by root 7, this is the correct option. Rest of the options are incorrect. At last, what is the process we applied here? Simply, we draw the diagram. We have given two concentric circles with same center and we float the points that is alpha and 1 by alpha 4. From that easily, simple construction. See, we join O to B and O to C and O to D and B to D and C to D. Finally, we observe there are two triangles are there. One triangle is OBD and another triangle is OCD. From these two triangles, cos theta is same. So, we equated these two equations and then we, very important point, we substitute mod Z0 square equal to R square plus 2 by 2. Finally, we get mod alpha equal to how much? 1 by root 7. This is the required conclusion. Thanks for watching. All the best.